tell you. Mm. Shit's going to get messy. And you United fans saying this guy's a legend and all that, yeah, fuck that, mate. He's a Sunday league coach at best, yeah, and that's that, mate. Today was garbage, mate. Fred, absolutely shocking, mate. We've been you know calling what, out. Mate? We've been calling out for Fred to get more nah, game mate, time. Shocking but shocking today. Absolutely. The basis of football. Keep the ball. Press the play, none of it. Sideway football all the time. Side, where's the killer pass? Mato, finished, mate. He's absolutely finished, Mato. 31 years of age, yeah. You got David Silver play for Man City, 33. Still still showing signs that he could do something. Mato, absolutely. I've never seen a decline in the player, yeah, in as much as Mato is. It's absolutely woeful. Dallo, absolutely garbage, mate. 20 million paid for him. 20 fucking million. I can't believe this football club, man. When we got people out there, Twan Zabi today, the only shining light of this team, Twan Zabi. But people talking about Rashford, yeah, 200 bags a week, mate. Absolutely shite this foot, guys, yeah. Absolutely, the base of football, make a run. He don't make no run, he's there telling people, pass the ball. What can you do with the ball? You've got that guy that sells, he'll always brook you up. You're not going to do that over the time. Mm. And he's there thinking I can do Ronaldo. You're not Ronaldo, bro. You're not Ronaldo. Why are you tracking like that, you're Ronaldo? Free kicks all the time saying, I want a free kick. What's wrong with this football club, man? No manager, no tactics, no ideas, and it's a clueless, clueless club. This football club could get relegated this season. I mark my words, man. That, nah, man I mean, Adam was saying the same thing. Is that a genuine possibility, Saeed? Like, but relegation? Is, yeah, what, what, what I know we're in relegation now? form. I know we're in relegation form. This is relegation but, football, bro. This is relegation football. Newcastle Football Club, yeah, got spat 5-0. 5 nil. Five fucking nil flex, man. This is not a joke, man. People out here, they say, oh, he's at the wheel. Fuck that, man. I've had enough of this football club, man. We should be out there but battling, battling these teams and just wiping them aside. But you know what? Pereira on the right. What the fuck is Pereira on the right doing? Tell me. Why is Pereira on the right? What can he do? He's absolutely average, but only persisting with him all the time. Stick with a 4 4 2 and just go out there, man. What is the point playing sideways football? You haven't got the midfielders in there. McTominay tries and tries. He's not the kind of player to go and brook other people and spin at people. He's not that player. He's limited in what he does. And, but you know what? Heart and soul passion. Fuck that, man. If you want heart and soul football passion, yeah, go watch fo fo Newcastle Football Club. Where am I United, man? We should be playing teams on the front foot. I've come out here at Newcastle for what, man? For what? To see 1 0 against fucking Newcastle. He's got a goal, my friend. He has got a goal. Why? It's, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. The, play, the decisions that he's making are shocking. They're absolutely shocking. He shouldn't have even sold Fellaini before anybody shouts. Before anybody shouts. Do, do you play football? Yeah. Midfield? Striker. Ever? Striker. Yeah. I bet you can have a go in midfield. Would you rather play against Malo and Fellaini or Fred? I mean, do me a favour. Depends on what type of game because, you won't because, get that means, because that means we're saying that we're happy as United to have a player like Fellaini who we can just lump it up to. No, That's mistake. not the United no, way, no, is it? No, no, no. He didn't replace, the, he didn't replace, he didn't replace him. He didn't replace him. He didn't, didn't replace him. Fellaini is a better player even on the floor than Fred. He gets the ball. <laughs> he, he, Seriously? He's got a good first touch mm. and he if passes they, it simple. He gives it to the other Fellaini. players. Mm. Fellaini is a better player than Fred. Yeah. He's a better player than Pereira. He's got 87 <laughs> caps for Belgium who are the number one rank. How many caps would, for Belgium would Fred have? How many caps for Belgium will Pereira have? We're giving away the best players and we're keeping the shit ones. He's getting it all wrong. To finish off, to, 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 to finish off, to finish off, yeah. Arsenal come here on Monday. Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking about that and how do we approach it? We've, we've got to put the best team out that, that we can. We need Marshall fit in a big way. Everyone's talking Please about... Please tell me you think it. he's all right. Oh, oh, yeah, Marshall's yeah. fantastic. He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall's fantastic. I'll tell you there is a waste of space and I want to come and see Goldbridge as well. I'll tell you there's a waste of space. Pogba is a complete... He's on about him being our saviour. And people talk about him creative. We've just played Rochdale. I think some of them players are on 500 quid a week. Pop, but he holds on to the ball too long. He doesn't move it quicker. I also hear you all slagging one matter off. One matter. One matter. He's having his chances and doing this all He's still one of our better players. One matter got swamped on Saturday against West Ham. He got swamped every game because his legs have gone off him. Well, I don't know. I don't think he has it anymore. I don't. You just can't play Pogba. All the players keep the ball. I feel like. Don't you feel like there's an over reliance on Pogba? Like if he doesn't do anything, we have nothing. We've seen him out the team since he got injured against Southampton. We've had nothing. Not created anything. Did we have some up before? I would, I would say we create. I would say we create slightly more with him. We, in, we, yeah. got, we got. We, we drew at Wolves with him in the team where he missed the pen. We got beat again. I, I read something in the paper there about about like uh, how much we've missed him. We've taken more points per game in the games that he's missed than we did in the games that he played. He's only. He's only so missed. You, he's only cut missed your two losses, games. Cut your losses. He's got to go. He's got to go. We've got to get people in the team who want to play for the team, who want to work hard, keep it simple, and just pass the ball as soon as they get it. 
Now then, you're all going to go crazy here now. We're all going to go, and I've, and I've got this taped, and I'll challenge you to come and watch it with me, and I'll show you how football's supposed to be played. I'm going to leave you because you'll all be shouting your heads off. On Saturday against West Ham, our best player was Nemanja Matic by a million miles. And I've got it, and I've watched it three times, and I'm not wrong. I'm telling you. I'll see you at us. He passed the ball or did he have a shot? Saha. At the end he made a mm. count bro. And then the left back shoots, it follows up behind him and shoots and mm. scores. So I'm saying to you, everybody's scared. Pogba loses the ball 40 yards from their, from, their, from their goal, right? It takes how many to go into our box? Why can't somebody do tactical foul? How many tactical fouls have they done today? How many red cards should have been for their team today? We, we could see it all. There was tactical fouling. Every time James or Rashford beats a guy, bringing him down. So you're seeing it as it's up here? Bro, it's up here. It's up here. Where can't somebody just wipe him and the ball out? Take a yellow for the team. In football, you know what? When you're six, seven, you get coached. The ball straight down the middle. One attacks the ball, one covers. Mm. The simplest. Well, if that's been... worse, if that's 80 million. That's what I'm saying. We've paid 80 million, million for Maguire to do that and he's million. made a mistake. I, mean, I, I, listen, I don't want to mention the money, but yeah. trust me, you've got to cover around. And Lindelof, we all know what was going to happen. But for me, second half, we battled, we battled on Rodham. I'd rather lose like that. That's what I'm used to. I'm used to losing like that. I'd rather have taken risks, right? With, with, with Mourinho, what we used to do with the games 1-1, he used to just shut it off. We pass side to side. We went for that game. But the thing about it, where's the cleverness to tactically foul them before they get into our area? We know. Just bring them down. Bring Somebody bring down. It's going to talk the ball from, what, 50 yards? They travel with the ball for 50 yards and it got it into our box. Take him down. They're doing it to us. We've got to do that. To me, Martial was amazing today. I don't know what people are watching. I watched Martial today. My focus was on Martial and his movement. He should have had a penalty in the first half, mm. when that time. I don't know why they're freezing called VAR, because the guy is climbing all over him and he still gets a shot off. He, brilliant bit of movement for the goal. Yeah. We know that, that one, two, three, yeah, well, yeah, with the link-up play. Then he got injured. So from that moment, when James scored, he can't play. Time goes 80 million pounds. 80 million! 80 million signed Ronaldo for Real Madrid, and we signed Harry Maguire? I'd fucking rather sign Harry Hill! The man is an absolute moron. He can't play. He looks like fucking Bambi on ice when he has the ball. It's an absolute travesty that he was our ma our marquee summer signing when Koulibaly was out there, when De Ligt was out there. Oh, what do we do? Sign 26-year-old English centre-half Harry Maguire, who literally in any other area of Premier League history would be a journeyman playing for, like, Blackburn. It's an absolute joke. And then who do we have up front? Marcus Rashford, who doesn't want to play striker? Like, Marcus Rashford would rather play on the fucking left wing, right wing, centre half of the bench, than play actual striker. We had to play Juan Mata in a false nine today. Juan Mata is less of a striker than I am a professional footballer. Juan Mata could not get anywhere close to being a striker in his life, yet for some reason today, he's a false nine. What's all he doing? And, uh, and again, speaking of Oli, he changed it and we went to a 4-4-2. That's when they sprung on us and, and got the goal as well. It, are you seeing in Oli that maybe it's, it's above him or could, do you think he can turn it around? That was a 4-4-2. That was supposed to be a 4-4-2 when neither striker was actually playing through the middle and they both drifted wide. It looked like we were playing a 4-6. It was an absolute joke. No one was playing through the middle. It, no, honestly, Oli is way out of his depth. Like, Oli's Vern Troyer in the deep end of the swimming pool. Like, he is an absolute joke. He's... He's out of his depth. Honestly... Is it his fault or should he have not been put into that situation because he didn't have the credentials in the first well, he, place? He, he, was, he was a nostalgia hire, like, mm. let's be honest. He was a nostalgia hire because he was a fantastic servant for the club, don't get me wrong, and he'll never tarnish his legacy with the club with what he's done as a manager. Mm. But what credentials does he have? Mm. He was a Cardiff manager. He was a mouldy manager. Mm. And he was signed for Manchester United. When Pochettino was out there, Pochettino, at the minute, is at the head of a a seemingly poisonous club. Why have we not done anything about it? Vertonghen and Ericsson are fighting between each other about who's shagging each other's misses. Honestly, if we got pots to the club, I'd shag Ericsson's misses. Like, it's all a case of, like, why have we not made a move for him? You still, even though it's, gone to, it's going to shit at that Tottenham now, would you look at that and think, get him, still I get Pochettino? He's the best manager in the world. I honestly do. Like, Guardiola's of the world have always had ideal situations to operate in. The Klops of the world, great manager, but realistically, we're never going to get Even him. Even though Pochettino's never won anything, though, you still think that? Pochettino has done so much for that. Remember last season, he got them to a Champions League final, they didn't sign anyone. Mm. We've spent, what, 170 million in the summer, mm. and we're two points above relegation. 
Like Pochettino with this situation mm. would probably have us at least in the Champions League places. Mm. When at the minute it's looking like realistically we're going to be at the Rico Arena in Coventry next season doing these because we'll be in the Championship. If and Matic has got to be in the team every single solitary week, bar none. So was one matter, without a doubt. So you, don't, so you don't think these players are past it, then? No, no, they're not past it. They're not past it. And th- what about the rest of what about, them? What about your Rashfords? What about your Pereiras? What about your McTominays? What about your Ashley Young at fullback? Ma- Ma- what, about, what about Dan James, who's coming Ma- in? What Ma- do you Ma- 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 going to be OK. He's, he's, he's a big, strong lad, gets around the park well. He's just trying to keep it simple. He's got a decent touch. Mm. Matt Tomlin is going to be OK. He needs to play next to Matic. Mm. We need, we're desperate. I said this the other week. We're desperate for Marshall, to be fair. Yeah. Rashford... Well, He's just, he's just oh, at number nine. Well, I've, I've read, I've read this week. I think I told you the other week that that they, they've, they've said that they're practicing, him, uh, training him to try and get in the box and mm. score more scruffy goals as all. Well, as 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 all, as all. Yeah, but now there's another article this week saying that. Gareth Southgate and Jose Mourinho have said that he's no good or they did say no good mm. but he's not particularly good when he's back to goal mm. and all he's agreed with him and they're working on that mm. I was a kid come through our ranks who's, who's not very good the, in, by their admittance. Now, lots of the fans are saying uh, he's low on confidence, there's too much pressure on his shoulders. They're not saying this. They're actually saying he isn't particularly good mm. at scoring goals. Mm. He isn't particularly good with his back to goal. Why has a kid come through our ranks and he's playing every week at centre mm. forward if he ain't very good at those things? Mm. I don't get it. And it's like he's been. Slow. McTominay is the most useless player I've ever seen in my life. What does he do? My man, yeah, is asking for the ball, yeah. Crowd, my, yeah. My, man was, my man, yeah, was asking for the ball, yeah, but he's got three players around him, three Crystal Palace players around him. You know what I mean? Where's the football intelligence in there? You, can, you can't ask for Pogba to do the, the magic, man, when you've got dead people around you, man. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? And it's just basic defending, Lindor of basic defending for that goal. But after that, where's the movement? Martial, was, he, was, he was doing nothing. There was nothing to work on. I was, I was trying to slick Martial, but I was thinking, yo, what can this guy work on? He can't work on anything. No one's passing, no one's in through the lines. And Jesse Lingard, yeah, I tell you about my man. I told you, bro. This he guy, had a shocker. He, he had a shocker is dead, too. bro. He's absolutely dead. What, you don't do nothing. My man just runs around like, and he's 26, bro. You can't do that, man. You're not in a five side, man, where you can just run around, yeah, then you can score through goals like that. It don't work like that. 11 a side football is all about intelligence. He does not have intelligence. He's the guy that runs about, makes space. You can't do that. I told you before the game. Working around, yeah, only works in certain ways. This team, yeah, is based on confidence. When the confidence goes, yeah, Yo, listen, it's gonna get it's gonna get peak out there, man. There's no movement, there's no world class element. Pogba, yeah, can do that flashes. You can't expect Pogba to do that all the time, man. Mm. Daniel James, bro, he got us a goal, yeah, but that was awful from him. That was poor game, man. My man's average at best, bro. You get me? Average, bro. You know what I'm trying to say to you? You know what I mean, man? But it's the usual suspects yeah, speaking usual, with someone to play. Yo, listen, there's no yeah. point. There's no point antagonizing, you get me, these guys here, but listen. Oli's played a risky game here, yeah? He's not bought under Herrera, it's, it's, it's all under Herrera, yeah? Lukaku, Sanchez, Fellaini. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not saying these guys should be, these guys should be out of the team, yeah? Mm. But if you're going to do that, yeah, and you think you're a confident guy, yeah? you got to replace these guys. Mm. Under Herrera was the best ball, best person at winning the ball. Aggressive. What do you do? You don't replace that. You're telling Mark Tomine, you're putting pressure on the kid, man. My man's come through the academy. You don't expect a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mason Greenwood came on today. There was nothing there. There's no spark. There's no one to give that energy. When Mata came on, the game changed for me. There was more urgency in the play. He was telling people, yo, listen, move, move. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's with, the, with, the there, pa- with the patience. Newcastle United 1, Manchester United 0. Quite ironic. On a weekend, the Joker is released in cinemas. The biggest Joker is Manchester United. And as the old saying goes, send in the clowns. Embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. There's no leader in the team. There's no one in the team who does it for me. Who who I would happily say, yeah, you deserve to start for Man United. Rashford does nothing. Absolutely nothing. He stands, he's lazy, he doesn't move at all. Pereira's awful. Fred was awful today. Everyone was awful. Shocking. I can't stand Ashley Young. I don't know how he carries on starting for United week in, week out. It is embarrassing. Paid a lot of money to come here to watch that. Uh, Shane, what do you think? We're, just, we're clueless. We, we don't create anything. We just pass it round sideways. Our midfield's not good enough. Fred's not good enough. I've said passing, but he's not good enough. Don't want to have a shot. Ratcliffe is a United supporter. Get your ass into gear and get a step onto United turf. Over Thanks, for Obviously, 
there's too many prima donnas and not enough players that actually want love i want to play you think that's what ollie's trying to do right now because we're seeing the likes of sanchez has gone uh, lukaku's gone ollie 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 is that really yeah. going Sanchez? No, 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 we're bringing on Greenwood. I mean, come on. I agree with this killer. He's got a boy's body. If you look at him, he's a good player. I think, I think, Oli, Oli is trying to build, and Sanchez is one player. Whether you like it or not, lads, I don't care about any of you lot. We, oh, we might as well just keep him. We're going to pay his. Maybe he was that bad around camp that. I mean, that's something we don't know. He looks like he's a hard worker. I mean, we him. don't know that. But I mean, if you're bringing on a 17 year old, I mean, it reminds me of that year under Van Gaal. Remember, we had no strikers and we fucking struggled. And it looks like that as well. The problem is, we haven't we've, got. We've, we've, got, we've got, not got, got a striker. Got a striker. Kill off team. Right. You're angry. <laughs> fucking angry. Go on, go on. Get your proper agitate on. Go on. Right, start the club. <laughs> look, look, keep, sorry. Keep your red right, the club's fucked, yeah? Oh, Starting yeah. from the fucking owners, yeah? <laughs> to the CEO's a clueless cunt, yeah? Right? Now, people are going to go about Lingard, right? The thing is with Lingard and McTominay, yeah, we're not going to get close to City playing them. People might like him. And someone said, Webby, give him a chance. He's 20 fucking six. He gets the club, I get the club, you get the club, yeah? He's not fucking good enough. End of story, yeah? I watched him at Wolves, yeah? Couldn't fucking... He missed it from the six-yard box, yeah? All right, fair enough, he wasn't a great part. Three times in five minutes he's done it today. Couldn't trap a fucking ball, yeah? 140 bags a week. Not good enough, mate, yeah? Obviously, it was better than Marino because we could have shot the shop there and it been been shit, like, but we went for it and we, we got beat. We got bullied by Palace, so I watched last Sunday get bullied by Sheffield United, yeah? Not good enough, mate. We got to Southampton with a fucking pressure on us, mate, big time. You because know what I mean? We got some big fixtures after that. Got some big fixtures at the end of the day, mate. We know now what, our, what at least 10 of our teams started. If Martial gets injured, yeah? We're going to put the pressure on a 17-year-old kid. We all knew Lukaku was going. If you didn't, you was a fucking King Kong. Yeah? We all knew he was going. Why have we not got a replacement ready for him? Do you know what I mean? He took the piss out of the club. Do you think he would have done that under Fergie? Not a fucking chance, mate. You know, we're in a lot of trouble, mate. And people coming in after the Chelsea game and said, listen, if they, those two goals going at the bar, we three one fucking down at half-time, yeah? We'd think it out, yeah? And at Wolves there... Uh, we, obviously, we missed the penalty. I thought we did all right, but today we got bullied for 15, 20 minutes by a Palace team uh, and they scored a goal this season up to now, until today. Not one here since 1989 or something. Absolute disgrace. That was when Roy Hodgson was 100. Fucking hell. <laughs> what, we've got to get used to it. <laughs> what we've seen tonight is absolute dogs. We are absolute... We're done. Do you, you think we've got to expect the season like this while Oli builds something or have we not got time for that? Oli's building, yeah, and fair enough, everyone's going or whatever, we're cutting loose. But what we have seen tonight as fans, not good enough. Terrible. Absolute. Anything you want to add? You gotta admit, like, it's Southampton. They were struggling to stay in the league last season. Like, we come down here. We draw one all. It's not really good enough against a team that's struggling to stay in the I league. Remember the last 20 years. Exactly, well. exactly. They're struggling to beat a team that struggled to stay in the league. Like it's it's not good enough. Like you can't. What do you make of the fact that whenever teams sit back, obviously Southampton when they went down to 10 men yeah. during the game against Crystal Palace, and um, when they sat back, we just can't break teams down. I mean, what, what what are we supposed to do? It's like it's almost like we haven't got a plan B. It's almost like. We're stuck to one plan. It's like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? We should be, do we do? We should be fucking. Sorry. <laughs> we should be squeezing them teams. We should be wringing them out like a fucking cloth. We should be taking we should. them. Honestly, honestly, we like. Taking them to the cleaners and cleaning it up and getting the three points and going on to the next game, next result. And the fixtures after this are quite difficult as well. Right, who have we got next? Leicester at home, we got Arsenal. Leicester at home, I'll tell you what, tell you what, we play like we did today, we will struggle. We will struggle. We will struggle.